if you are looking for an RV, it might be like a Cracker Jack box. There was always a little toy inside. So what happened with the toy inside? How many times were you disappointed for the toy inside? Oh, that's it. I had to dig at the bottom that I now I'm all sticky for this piece of. So if you don't want an RV to become your Cracker Jack box and wake you up with surprises that you didn't expect or didn't intend, that's why you need an inspection. It's RV inspection day, and today we are in Castleberry, Florida, about to inspect this Integra Odyssey 25R. Now, our customer's thinking about driving here today. He's two hours away, and maybe he's going to help us out. We don't know, but if he doesn't show up, we're going to let him know at the end of the day, but we're going to let you know at lunch and the end of the day what we find. All right, first glimpse. It's a little classy. Yes, we don't do those often. First glimpse looks pretty good. Listen, this is me. Dumb and dumber. Probably worked on the engineering of this. Imagine your low drain spigot plastic is outside the wall here. What do you think and when do you think something's going to happen with this? Oops. I was trying to get into that pop-up trailer, but uh, gonna in we're going to inspect it. We'll, we'll inspect it after. Okay. So overall, it, it looks pretty solid except my typical eye that kind of pissed me off sometimes. So it's like, listen, this was made about a month ago, maybe not even a month ago, just pulled in here. So directly from the shop, and I'm not gonna say Jayco, I'm just, I'm just giving you an example. So here's how it comes from the shop. Meaning, electrical, wood, everything is in there. They're done, they're done, it's just laying there. Some people are gonna say, well, get over yourself. I mean, it's normal, it's a shakedown. Shakedown? This is not shakedown. This was there when they were building it, and they don't give a crap. So now let's go check if this lunchtime is gonna bring us a of crap, or a pile of either one of them. So now let's go check what lunchtime is gonna bring us. So come on in, let's talk about the phenomenal stow and go on this Integra. I absolutely love it. You have access to everything you could possibly want. You've got access to your dinette. You can come up here and get something to drink and make coffee and cook and use your microwave. You've got access to your 12 volt refrigerator, TV. You can sit right here, have your lunch here or just hang out and you can get to bed easily. And not only that, you've got your full bath. So this stow and go is absolutely amazing. And you only have like one step to get to the bathroom when you're in bed. Speaking of beds, this is a cement mattress. I'm not kidding. So no need for any more cement pad mattresses. This stow and go is phenomenal. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. All right, lunchtime recap. So I imagine if you are looking for an RV, it might be like a Cracker Jack box. You remember when we were a kid, we had those sticky caramel Cracker Jack box. There was always a little toy inside. So what happened with the toy inside? How many times were you disappointed for the toy inside? Oh, that's it. I had to dig at the bottom that I now I'm all sticky for this piece of so if you don't want an RV to become your Cracker Jack box and wake you up with surprises that you didn't expect or didn't intend, that's why you need an inspection. So on this unit, listen, Integra. For once, in all the Integras we've done, you can see that this has just been built. So you can understand the market here. We're in March. This was built in February, almost at the end of February. So a month old. So the production is going down. They're getting laid off, Forest River and all of them down there. So what do you think happens? Well, if we're going to make one, we're going to try to make it nice. This is the image of what it should be all the time. So I just have a couple of things. Major life safety issue. I got a propane leak. So I've got two different systems that I'm using. So both of them leak. So the other thing that I have is this Bay Area. So come on over here. 
So imagine you're going to put, I don't know, your chairs in there or whatever you want in there. So if the weather, if the weather, if it starts raining, I know it's a Frenchman in me, weather, whatever. Try to say that three times. No, 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 not you English people, Frenchmen. So it's raining in there. You're driving down the road. You know how the water gets in the back. And it's a tornado in the back. So you put all your stuff in here. It's all dried up. And you're going to end up wherever you go. You think this is going to be nice. Uh, water is going right in there. So, And as you can tell, I, I open the sub when they need the shower too. So when Lowell does her leaky shower, probably. I'm also going to keep an eye on this to see what's going on with this. So there we go. So far, so good. It is not a Cracker Jack box. We found a lot of things that were pleasantly surprised to see the consistency. So we'll see you at the end of the day. So it's lunchtime. Integra, you really did it this time. Kind of blowing us away in a good way. Honestly, on the inside of this, I am wicked excited because I'm not finding much of anything. It's solid. The seals that they have on the wall, everything is great. The one thing I found this morning was light coming in this cupboard up here. Now, there's nothing we can do about that, but I see it and I just need to notate it for our customer. The other thing, on the inside of the cupboard above the end of his bed, there is an area where the trim is just loose. Not a big deal, they're just gonna tack it up there. These are just minor things. And then I have this little smudge here. I tried to actually wash it off. It's not coming off. I don't know what it is, it's sticky. Again, not a big deal. So I actually made my way up into this area, which was not an easy task to do, but I did get up there, checked the windows, checked everything. Everything is looking great. I'm really happy about what I'm finding so far. As you know, this afternoon, I'm going to end up doing all of my water. Let's hope. I did check the seals of the shower. The entire top of the shower is open on top. So where's the water going to go? right down the back, right? So this one's really loose, as you can see. Shower. I'm kind of wondering about that, but we'll see once I put water to it. So let's see what the rest of the day brings us. I will update you at the end of the day. See you then. End of the day recap. Integra. Well, that's probably the first one they make that's actually close to flawless in my book yes we had the propane leak a couple of little things but nothing this is solid this is how they should be all built and i'm not talking about a unit of half a million dollar this little peanut at 115,000 retail has more value than some that we do at three four hundred thousand this don't make sense here but whatever one thing you have to learn when you set an inspection this is exactly what happened with this. I got a generator. The gas in here, it's one of our recommendation. We need to have electrical, we need to have water. Quarter of a tank minimum. That means about a third of a tank because the generator, if the sensor is below the gas tank, that is a quarter, and it's typically around one third. Generator won't work. Starts, stalls. Starts, stalls. So now we came here to do this inspection. There's no gas to run the generator. So can't test the generator's capacity, the outlets. So we missed on this. Well, the only thing we can say is when you come and pick it up, make sure the generator powers and the transfer switch does what it's supposed to do. So that's my two cents in this. Other than that, I'm happily surprised. And now you can believe that there is some good ones out there. Just saying, still to this point, this inspection for me was worth every penny because you would have come down here and a few things that we found wouldn't have been detected. And Propane League, they'll tell you that, oh, they'll do it on PDI. Yeah, right. They never do that. Never. If a guy does it, it's because you watch the video and he says, just to prove me wrong, that, well, we do this here. No, you don't. Whatever. So that's it. That's my call for the day. Let's go check what Lowell has inside. So it's the end of the day, and I'm still blown away. Integra. This is absolutely beautiful. 
So I came back after lunch, did all of my water, no leaks, none, zero, no leaks at all. The only thing I can actually state is that the top of that shower is not sealed at the very top. That's all I can state. So let's talk about the tall stall. This one right here is 76 inches tall. So if you're six foot four and under, this is gonna be a perfect shower stall for you. Other than that, I have nothing else. TVs were perfect, the radio was blasting all afternoon. Not really, I don't really like to blast it, but it was working, so everything was great. I really don't have anything negative to say. This is a perfect unit for our customer. He's going to be really happy. So a little quote for you. Make sure you cover this earth before it covers you. So remember, and do never forget, It's Ivy inspection day, and we are inspecting today a, I don't know, pop-up trailer. See, I'm not as good as Lowell, that's why she does it. It's a Rockwood Premier. So, just at first glimpse, I mean, listen, there's hay in there. Oh, it's probably a used one. Oh, it must be a used one. No, it's brand spanking new. Is it? Well, I don't know. Or they took it in trade, I don't know. No, but the, hey, look at this. Stove. This is awesome. Look at this. You're taking a poop while you're taking a shower. So it's actually a big personal bidet. So, just saying. So the first thing when we pull up here, this camper, you see the stop sign? It's perfect. It's beautiful. I don't know for who, because nobody can come here. So the camper is backed up to here to make sure that the awning would go right into the sign. I mean, it's like... You figure out the word that I would typically say. Who parked this here? Who's got half a brain that operate this yard? I don't know, I'm just winging a guess. Knowing Speaking of beds, 